Hi folks, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Remastered with Beretta Mistral, Dog, and Christine at the Sierra Madre. Almost got away. A horrific place. We are getting to understand God, Dog, and why Elijah came here. I'm not entirely certain about what he's expecting to get out of this place. He is using it's living fault you're here. Couldn't leave conscious alone. Yeah, conscious yes I know. Conscious people as tools. He is a psychopath. He has completely gone over the edge. Veronica admires him, but I think that man is long gone. Potentially broken by the experience at Helios. His failure. Maybe his frustration. Off your arm. Wear it on my neck. Ah, and what we know of him uh, from the Big MT is not... is not... A good portent. I think that's where he got the collars, in fact. Hmm. And the hollow rifle. He had similar stuff over there. The lair. Christine! Well alone. I know you can't talk, but... Let's see what's what. She raises an eyebrow. Hi. Do you know how to get out of here? Please say yes. She points in the direction of the main gate, then points out your collar, shakes her head, and locks her hands around her neck. Turns her hands lash outwards, frings split, and she rolls her eye back. Over a second, she turns to you, shakes no. Okay, so we cannot go now, but if we lose the collars, then we can just leave. She nods. Raises an eyebrow, looks skeptical, then shrugs. So you're not sure. Me neither. Points downwards, make a circle, back to the same spot, and then fingers drift, signal, make a make a mock down. I see. So it wouldn't be possible to come back when we leave, you're saying. Who would want to come back? Well, I can only think of getting away for now at least. So it'll be difficult, you say. She shakes her head, prints at herself, then points at you and nods. Oh. If I leave... She nods. Huh. But not you. She nods again. Why can't you find your way back? Shakes her hand, points to the ground, moves each leg outward, straddling the place where she's pointing. You don't... you're not going to leave. Have you thought about this? A nod. What? Why would you want to stay here? Frowns makes a mock motion of loading a gun, then hefting it for her shoulder and taking an aim at something at a distance. Pauses makes a sweeping circle, puts her arms in a circle around it, as if covering it. Hmm, we are lacking in perception. Hmm. I think we need to mint that. Do you know how to get out of here? Blah, blah, blah. So we can just leave. I have other questions. Oh, we missed that and we can't get back to it? Really? Ah, crap. 
Okay. Can you communicate it in some other way? Can you write? She frowns. And the scars on her head. She Oh, she's been lobotomized. She cannot write anymore. Something to do with the surgery. Electricity in the air. Not staring face. Electroshock. Keeps a blank for a second, then blinks, looks around, she looks at her hand, shakes them. Let's them go limp. Electroshock therapy. She nods, then makes the motion of typing, drawing X's and lines in the air, then gives a thumbs up. You can still do math! Right. How about the facial scars? They don't seem to be the same type as your throat. Not the autodoc. She nods. Puts her hand in front of the throat, then closes it, then points at you. I can't restore your voice. We need a real autodoc for that. She shivers, shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't understand why they shaved you. Touches her head, smiles, then shakes her head. Yeah, you, you don't know either. The auto doc didn't shave you bald? You did. The casino. You were already bald. Raises her hands and waves them like wings. Puts both her hands in front of her, makes a motion with her hands as if writing something. That looks like, uh, you're in the Brotherhood of Steel. You're a scribe. I am part of the Brotherhood as now. now. She looks impressed. Wait. Do you know Veronica? How the hell did you get out here? She points to you and shrugs. Were you under Elijah, like Veronica? Where were you before? Is there a wider circle? Raise their hand over their eyes. You are looking for someone. One person. Raises a finger and nods. A man? Yes. Makes a motion with her hands around her chin, drawing it down, then raises her hands and clenches them at the sky. An angry bearded man. You came here looking for Elijah. Points at your pip boy. Mm-hmm. You're looking for a man in a vault. The man on the Pip-Boy holotape, Elijah. Looks concerned, taps the side of her head and expands her hands. Someone smart. Yes, dangerously so. She nods and circles her ear. And nuts. Yes, I've noticed that aspect as well. Gone completely off the reservation. She nods and frowns. Sounds like it's very important for you to find this person. And believe you me, it is beginning to be increasingly so for me too. She frowns, raises two fingers, then has them walk together. Then she looks down two fingers, then her face becomes angry. Then she chops her hand down and draws the two fingers apart. One of the fingers she points at herself. He cut you off from someone. Veronica! You were together. Family? She frowns, shakes her head. Even more so at husband. So a woman. Your wife. But rolls it side to side, shakes her head, rolling it side to side. A girlfriend. She waves her hand. More than girlfriends, lovers. She nods and looks at you surprised. It is Veronica, I'm almost certain. <laughs> you thought I didn't understand love. Well, yeah, looking at me now, I, uh, 
I understand uh, why you would th think that. I do understand how the connection can be important. I've lost every single connection I've had. Uh, we've built new ones along the way, though. And uh, potentially on the way to actually making something of ourselves. The entire Mojave, no less. That can be important. She nods, studying you. She seems to be gauging you again. Makes a slow circle motion after a moment. Taps her wrist. Hmm. Other questions. Let's see. How did you end up in the auto dock? Moves her fingers in a circle, frowns and drags around over her eyes, raises them. Oh, she, she was captured. You get gassed like I did, right? She nods. Points at you, make a circle, then points at your feet. And you're bound. Oh, do you want to know how I got here? She smiles and nods. Well, I walked into a... Uh... She repeats the shogun motion again. This time she lures her hand and circles her finger inward until she's pointing at the spot between you. Raises an eyebrow. I see. I followed a radio signal, uh, a woman's voice. She waits and raises an eyebrow. I was just... Well, to be fair, curious where it led. She looks at you for a second, studying you, and then nods. She points at you, then points at the casino, then she slowly shakes her head, then points in the direction of the main gate. So it's one or the other. If I could leave, I would. But what about you? She shakes her head, points at the ground. You're not going to leave. Glances at the casino, then the exit, then back at the casino. She shrugs without strength or conviction. She isn't looking at you when she does. If I could leave, I would. She looks at you for a moment, glances at your collar, shrugs, then lightly grabs her knife with both hands, holds it for a moment. Her hands fall away. She looks at you at the exit and nods. Once we have the collars out. Do you know what the machines around the villa are? No. Makes a small circle with a thumb and forefinger. Points at you. Makes the motion of putting something in her palm. The chips. Here's a Sierra Madre chip. She examines it, raises it to her eye, turns it to the side, gauging its diameter and width. She is a scribe, runs her finger over the surface, checking the engraving, then tosses the chip back to you. She turns to look around, sees something on the floor, readiness to bend down and pick it up. She then looks at you and nods. Ah, you can scrounge more. I see you're skilled at this. She smiles, stands still for a second, then stops. Slowly makes the motion of bending down and scooping up something. Then she holds the imaginary object in her hand, as if heavy, and puts it in front of her, as if on a table. She then hefts what looked like a small box, pours it on top of the object, looks at it, then reaches down. Ah, you can make these! At a workbench. You can make chips. With metal? Makes a motion to the Pip-Boy and opening it up and removing something from it. Then she raises her hand and makes the motion of smashing it and holding up the remains. So with stuff, like a battery and metal? She nods impressed. <laughs> oh, yes. I have a nifty repair skill. Can you teach me how to do it? She nods, makes a series of hand motions to represent weights and amounts. Enough, so you think you could do it on your own. Christina's taught you the coin operator perk, allowing to make 
Ah, oh, ceramic chips. Metal slugs at workbenches using batteries and metal. Because they power the thing, right? Thank you very much, Christine. Uh, are you skilled at using any weapons? I mean, as a scribe, you must have had training. Christine draws a jagged lightning bolt near energy weapons. Pantomimes throwing a grenade. And she uh, moves her shoulder with the part, holds hand in martial arts stance, then pistols. Oh, one pistol. Takes same as if sighting down a barrel, a single shot. I see. So weapons, explosives, kicking the crap out of people, and guns. You're well trained. She shrugs slightly, then waits. <laughs> Brotherhood. Brotherhood training. So, you can scrounge up more stuff. Can use weapons, but you don't have any on you, do you? Hmm. So I'm thinking uh, dogs are better fit to travel together. Stay safe. Stay here. Wait. Nothing bad can happen to you uh, near the hologram. All right. Hmm. Do we have... I mean, we have some scrap metal. And... I'm guessing we're gonna find other stuff as well. How much carry capacity do you have left? Plenty All still. All of your weapons will do. And your stems. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can have one of these. See if you can use it. And... Ah, maybe knife spears. Ah, maybe we should give the assassin suit to, um... To Christine. Is this the Christine? This is probably the Christine's... Oh. This is the Christine we have the uh, suit from. Probably. Was she at the Big MT? Huh. Following Elijah. Hunting him down. Oh. Okay. We need to go to the police station to get there? How does that work? Can we just not go that way? Their taste like copper. Right behind you. Oh, that's a cockroach. Cucaracha. Hazard, a bit of a light situation here. Now that we know we can make chips with metal, we're taking the metal when we find some. Madre is mine, mine, mine. Swallowed his collar. No, 
not that. something in there. If this one is in better condition, some water. Hopefully, less red heavy than what we've been drinking so far. Can't believe the idiot swallowed his collar. Yeah, well, he did. Is this where we came from? Let's see what's in there. It's your own fault you're here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. Hologram. That isn't going to kill us. Huh. Okay, this will keep the minis away. So we don't have to worry too much. Hologram bender. Return outfit. Okay, another type of thing we can return. Probably relaxed wear, just a guess. Can you vend me stuff? Flickering hologram stares at you expectantly. Do you have anything I can buy? Ooh. Sierra Madre Martini. Strength, endurance, and HP. Oh, I'm guessing this is where the crap we've been collecting. Oh, I see. Everything that we uh, can't make anything out of. We can sell to this idiot. Okay. Come here. All of your weapons will do. And your stems. Oh crap, he doesn't uh I just he doesn't have actual caps, just stuff. And pre-war money. Uh well maybe we can exhaust that. Uh let's see. This we can turn in and we want to sell that. Uh we have sunglasses. Back home already. We can sell one of each. What can we do with that? And this stuff. Probably nothing. So let's... let's see. Vacuum cleaner. I'm fairly certain we don't need that. Let's get one of these. Not sure how you make them. Do you have... You have 12 stint packs. That's quite a l enough, I think, for what we're going through. Turpentine toaster. Tin cans? Oh, tin cans. Maybe you can turn into metal to make... Um, Scrap metal to make, yeah. Steam gauge, maybe, we don't need. Pilot light, paperweights, paint gun, flatboard. Last picture, I don't think. Oops. 
coffee mugs. Let's see, how much, um... Oh, that's too much crap. Uh. Yeah, okay. Get some pre war money. And some weight off our backs. All of your weapons will do. And your stems. Uh, you can have the bear fast. Uh, bear trap fists. They're quite heavy. I'm just keeping the clip the clean cosmic knife. And two of these. Don't need the lead pipes. These could prove useful if you could actually throw them efficiently, which we can't. Terrible at it. So, take most of them, if not all. Take the tire iron. Carry quite a lot, can't you? Oh yeah, we also have bulk cells for the hollow thing, but yeah. Should we repair it already? Probably not. Damn, the hollow rifle does pack a tremendously uh, good punch. We have so little ammo for it. We have a lot to recycle. Not really. Not really. Okay. Well, now that we know we can trade anything for... Pre-war money, essentially. There tastes like copper. If not for uh, Sierra Madre chips. Where? Okay, this will go down that way. So let's go around to the other side. This is where we came in. That pit boy. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. Wear it on my neck. Lots of stuff. Now if we can turn in for chips. Hmm. Yeah. It's your own fault you're here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. Oh, and we're back at, uh, I see. Okay, more...
Oh. Oh. Ah, crap. the other door that we saw, that one. Oh. That goes straight into cloud. Trying to lose me in the cloud? Not a chance. Gift shop. Hmm. Back the main way. Uh, we can exchange the cartons we got at least. Yes, and the casual wear and whatnot. Soiled casual wear as well. Who would want that? I have no idea. We have enough rounds for this thing. Getting a code for a stim packs though, that would be really nice. Not have to worry about dying so much. There's enemies somewhere that I cannot see. Above. I don't know. Where's God? Aren't you coming? Where the hell is God? Why isn't he following me? Damn it. Ask him to the clinic. He'll be sure to follow. Yeah, there we go. But stealth boy, uh, boy. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. would make things a bit too easy for you, I think. No, oh, water, 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 water. There's enemies, but... Oh, there they are. Something needs to die. Can I hit anything?
Critical strike. Oh, you got in front of me? Damn it. Die. Come on. to run through. Did we miss anything? Let's go to the residential district. Here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. I'm not sure we want to go to the residential district. Yes, we do. That's uh, where Domino is, apparently. Yes, we do. Okay, well. Can we go this way? Oh, we're already being poisoned by a cloud. Okay, so that's the residential district where we probably want to go. How about this way? Well, we can work those at the clinic. Police residential, yeah, I'm a half health now. There's another bench here. Great. Don't need to go back to the residential uh, residential the clinic then. Electronics, what's that? A whetstone. I'm sure we're gonna need to sharpen knives. Well maybe we do with the uh, clean cosmic maybe knife, maybe it'll be a sharpened arm. cosmic Where knife. So, we could recycle microfusion cells. Not many, but some is better than none. We can... Oh. That would be really good to repair the hollow rifle. Make each shot count. Just the one, though. And yeah, we don't want to waste those. Ah, we need three cos clean cosmic knives to make a cosmic knife spear, I guess. Okay. Is that better? It has more range to it and damage output, I guess. We have the Abraxo. We have three knives, don't we? All of your weapons will do. All of your weapons. Oh, we also need duct tape. Do we have any more? All of your weapons will do. Uh, of course we do. And so, we need three of those. Uh, and I already have the one. Yeah, so let's make three more. And let's make the cosmic knife spear. Ah, 
How good is that? 1938. Eh. Well, it's better than the knife. I guess. Can't believe the idiot swallowed his collar. It is better than a knife. Uh, we have our weapon repair kit. And yeah, I think the hollow rifle could use that. Let's take a look. Hmm, just a tiny bit better. Okay. Repair our pistol. Yeah, let's use this one in fact. Better condition. Why did we repair it? Because we're idiots. Ah, okay. It's your own fault you're here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. Oh, there's a machine. Okay, there's a lot to this other quarter here that we haven't seen yet. So, I think we want to go explore a bit. Find out what can be scrounged up uh, these parts. Can we open this? It's your own fault you're here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. Right behind you. Very reassuring, as usual. Oh, there's a cucaracha. Cucaracha, bye bye. We missed. Damn it. Another gift shop. Is this the gift shop we were at? No, it's another one. Almost got away. The idiot's hunger screws it up. It is another one, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have not been here before. Four of spades. They taste like copper. Or oh, no, there's blood on that side. Is that where we couldn't get through? Maybe. walk around here without... Oh, nice! Pure money. Oh, we did have a martini here for uh, the taking without needing to actually purchase one. Oh, so that's the other side of the... I see. There's some residue there. Oh, don't get too close. Some residue we might want but uh, not going through a uh, damaging cloud openly like that that pit boy maybe I'll tear it off your arm wear it on my neck yeah 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 no. oh, nothing just a shot I missed okay gift shop Thing. 
that overlooks to that side. This is blocked off, so... Yeah. Air tastes like copper. Or old world gold. Ah, bleak. This place is so bleak. Elijah. 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 The name just rings and rings in our minds. Round and round until we can uh, boy. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. Take our revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. We will <laughs> enact upon him. And deservedly so. He has wasted who knows how many lives in his vain pursuit for wealth, power? We don't even know. We might need to take a rest at the police station soon because Salida del Sol. Leave the Salida del Sol gate alone. You're not done with the villa yet, so don't stray. Yeah, well. Kill this one before they call others. Which one? I don't see, uh... Oh. That one. Some... Right behind you. Okay, they're dead. We're in need of water. That pip boy. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. Wear it on my neck. That is a really nasty trap. I know, I know, you just keep reminding me, nagging and nagging. Nice, 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 nice. All the drugs you can get, and it's a Dean's, okay. Thank you, Dean. Can't wait to thank him uh, in person when we get to him. All the nice things he's been leaving around. I hope he doesn't like need them for himself. Oh, you're not getting away from me. Ah, crap, another... Uh, still don't have that. That pip boy Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. Wear it on my neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's two things we need to unlock. Oh, we wore a hat and a bobby pin underneath it. Almost missed that. So dark over the counter. So we've been around this way, that way. So that will be after the Salida del Sol. Okay, so we cannot go any further, it seems. Not without entering a new region of the game. Yeah, okay. We 
Was there a place to sleep at the, uh, oh, I missed these two. At the medical clinic? Did he go in here? Yes, we did. It's your own fault you're here. Couldn't. Oh. Couldn't make a gas bomb. With a sensor module, and I see. Well, let's make one. Leave well enough alone. So I can't go that way anymore. Let's run these parts. They taste like copper or old world gold. Another vending machine. That's where we were. Yeah, that's the other door we're su not supposed to go to. Uh, were we upstairs? Maybe. Maybe that's where we're supposed to go upstairs. So, return that. Some more snacks. Snacks, chips for snacks. And, yeah, still no water in that. Okay. Oof. There really isn't much in these places. Can't the Everything's been picked clean collar. over time. Over a very long time. Well, got a helmet at least. This one isn't locked at 100 skill level. Chips on the table. Well, chip on the tip. Oh. And two behind the counter. They taste like copper or old world gold. I'm starting to look behind things now because people hide things in there. Okay, let's have a drink. Nothing in there. Like copper or old world gold. Pretty much cleared the place, I think. Well, everywhere we can go, at least. So, Sally the Del Sol, that's not what we want. Residential Town Square Clinic, Quest Del Sol, and Police. We, I think, we want to go rest at the clinic or the police station because we're not even at health health now. Almost and I don't want to waste away. my stem packs. The idiot's hunger screws it up. Is there a bed in the police station? That pit boy. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. Wear it on my neck. It's up here. That. Right? No? Where's the police station, damn it? Ah, the other way. Damn it, not up this way, the other way. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. Where it that way.
I don't know. Uh, I don't remember there being a bed. That pit boy. Maybe I'll tear it off your Oh, arm. this one. Wear it on my neck. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's have a rest. Next to a dead corpse. And we feel significantly better. We've recovered... Uh, yeah, more than 100 uh, hit points. Still not quite up there where we would like to be. But much closer. And just standing around will get us there. Soon enough, because inside we recover hit points. We're at 409, let's wait 10 seconds. We're at 410, see? Haha. <laughs> okay, so. We need to figure out. Their taste like copper. Or old world gold. What the hell Dean would be useful for? I mean, we're setting up essentially what is a heist. I'm quite certain. So Elijah needs us, well, needs people, needs bodies on on the ground to do the dirty work for him. It's your own fault you're here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. Yes, but also, I think, a way to avoid a greater evil, because if it hadn't been us, taken hostage here. Who knows what Elijah might have uh, been able to pull if we hadn't been here to stop him. Whatever it is, it cannot be good. Elijah... Leave the idiot swallowed his collar. Yeah, has very poor decision-making skills. Has been using people's guinea pigs has killed who knows how many people with the collar experiments at the big MD he was even worse than the brains yeah we need to find a way to stop him almost got away then the idiot's hunger screws it up but that that is going to be next time until then <laughs>